Hello again, and as promised, here's the follow-up to our previous video, giving you a guide on how to buy a kid's bike. And hopefully today, we're going to teach you how to teach your child to ride a bike. Now this is my son Jude, who's two and a half years old, and he's already got some experience of using a balanced bike, which is how he came to win the under threes Giro d'Italia this year. However, he hasn't got the technique down of how to actually pedal one, which is what we're going to try and teach him today. Hopefully combine the two. Wish me luck. Now we would always recommend that you start your child with a balanced bike, even if they're two and a half years old or eight years old. Of course you can't get balanced bikes for eight year olds, but what you can do is take the pedals off, lower the saddle right down, and make sure that they're able to get their feet flat on the floor because that will give them the most amount of confidence. If you start them with stabilizers like this, then it means they get used to just being able to stay upright without actually having to balance. It means they have to learn the whole technique from scratch once you take them off. Now if you get your kids into riding very, very young, there are some balance bikes like this one which don't have any brakes. But if you do get one with brakes, like this one here which he's been using, it's a good idea to teach them to use them before they actually get on. That way if they do start to get out of control or speed up too much, they'll know how to slow down. So do that by putting them next to the bike and getting them to just grab the brake on and off so that they know that that slows the bike down. So once you've got your child set up on the bike and you've made sure that their feet are able to go flat on the floor and they're fairly confident, it's time to set them off. So find a flat bit of either tarmac or soft grass, not too soft though because you want to make sure that the wheels are allowed to move around and then go along with them, just helping support them underneath their arms here or just something that you can grab if they do start to lose balance. But never hold onto the handlebars because it's important that they get the feel of that because that will then later help them balance. It's really important to remember that your child needs to enjoy the experience. If they obviously don't want to do it or they get visibly tired, then it's time to give them a rest and come back to it another time. Once you feel like they've started to get more comfortable and confident on the bike, then it's time to let them go on their own. Don't do anything too drastic like major downhills, but if you get some very slight gradual downhills with either a flat runoff or a slight uphill, which is going to slow them down, they're going to start to get a little bit of speed up, and that's the point when potentially they can start to lift their feet off the ground and really get the hang of that balance. Right, go on then, Jude. You go on your own. Put your feet up. Careful. Right, feet up, feet up. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. So as you can see, Jude's got the balance pretty well down. I've been teaching him for a good few months, but he hasn't got the technique of pedaling. So I have put these stabilizers on because he's already got that balance behind him. And hopefully over the next 10, 15 minutes, maybe two hours. I'm going to teach him how to pedal this bike whilst he's got the balance and get a little bit of strength in these legs. Go on then, pedal, pedal. That's it. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Join us soon for our next video where we will show Jude taking the final steps in the process of learning to ride a bike. Being able to ride a bike at a young age is, in our opinion of course, one of life's essential skills. With so many different makes, types and sizes of bikes on the market, it can